the time has come to go up the mast and do the standing rigging. Well, I'm sure you guys were super excited to uh, see this new standing rigging get put together. But unfortunately, the some of the parts that we need are not available in store. We've got to order them offline. There was a little bit of thought we needed this, decided we needed that instead sort of situation. Um, so we ordered it offline and it's going to be here in about a week, week and a half. Um, so we're doing a little pivot to work on other stuff for a while. It is lined up. One down, three more to go. I guess we could have used the short bolts, huh? Time for the other side. It wasn't supposed to rain till 11 o'clock tonight. Eee. It's only 5.30 and it's sprinkling. Oh, there's other tools out in the rain. Working at night in the rain. Getting the solar arch mounted. It looks really good. Don't know if we'll put, we'll maybe try putting the bimini on it tonight. Just gently putting it on, not getting it all the way done. We got the arch done. Um, last night we pushed through the dark of night and got all of the feet sealed to the deck. So everything's bolted down, sealed. It's awesome. And we got obviously the bimini up, which is super cool. We have our own little outdoor patio now is what it feels like. We saw a couple of comments about moving it back so that it would be behind the backstay, but that doesn't work because the boat is narrower in the back and um, we couldn't get this any narrower so it would be off the deck if we put it further back. But we like it where it's at. It fits the bimini, the old bimini uh, cover well, and it's gonna hold up our solar panels great. First trip anywhere on the dinghy, we went to the local tiki bar. Yeah! It's awesome that when we leave here today, we're leaving by boat. It's like a bunch of tiny eels in the water. That has a hard time focusing yeah. on the water, and you don't get a clear shot unless they're like really concerned. Well, over the past few weeks actually it started getting a lot warmer and we decided to hook up our AC unit. It works really well but it is having a little bit of some draining issues that we're trying to work out right now. I want to move the whole thing over to this side so we can still use this space for something. Just make it a little more compact. A little more space efficient. Potentially the water maker will go on that side. But we'll see. I'm working on mounting this right here. Got the starter holes cut. Let's do it. Fits in pretty good. I just need to repaint the edges, of course. See, so this all peeled off. It used to all be painted white like this. And these layers just peeled out. Well, you got stuff mounted in here. AC, and then mounted the filters for the water maker there. Still need to hook some stuff up. It's got quite a ways to go before it's really functioning, but at least now it's in a place and not taking up space elsewhere in the boat. We found a bird nest right next to the dock. There it is. <laughs> And next to the trail over here, another nest. This one surely already has some eggs or something because she's laying on them. All right. Finally time to unroll this foam and get it stuck down. It really wants to roll back up. So that's going to be... I've tamed the beast! In our efforts to always be recording better video and audio, we had some growing pains this week and recorded a whole bunch of video without any audio at all. So I'm going to be attempting to supplement some of the audio. Enjoy. So first we draw the line, and then we smear the line 
Yep, that looks good. One thing that a lot of people don't realize about foam is that you can touch the foam. You can see I can touch the foam here, and I can touch the foam here, and also here. Sometimes I like to pretend that my hands are little people doing yoga on a foam yoga mat. This foam is extremely stiff, so we're going to massage it and try and rub all the knots out. Yep, yep, got to get in there really good. Yep, there's a tight, tight spot right there. And yep, there we go. And once the foam is all laid down, we just have to boing it. Boing, 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 boing. Ooh, testing out our GPS. Okay. This is the first time we've turned this thing on. Crazy. Oh, wrench, 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 wrench. Ah. Yep, there we go. Wow. Instant retrieval. How fun was that? Magic. Ew, oh, it's muddy. You're getting mud on your paddle board. Right now we're getting stuff together and cut out to make some shelves and a little bit of a cabinet space in the bathroom. It's a bathroom speed build. We're running out of time to get this boat on the road, get this <laughs> boat on the ocean, but we want to kind of utilize some of the space in there that's not, nothing's happening in there. So and use it for some storage and hopefully have a working shower in there before we go as well. And every day here is a day that we're not in the Bahamas and I am I have a I take personal offense to that. I have a problem with that. <laughs> Show you guys it's a super small space in here so it's kind of hard to get anything on film. Framing coming together. Is it just how you wanted it? Maybe. Nothing we can't build with a little fast grab and some screws. Come take a look in this manhole. I got it so cleaned out. I got so many trash wires taken out. And now it's actually a usable space again. I've been working on doing some grounding. And that has to get done tonight because I've already taken the zincs out of the water. Oh man. Oh, look at that. Savannah did such a beautiful job with this bench. She's amazing. There's the zinc I pulled out of the water. All right, so last night we worked on this cupboard and we did get really far on it. Um, it got later into the evening and we didn't want to be like cutting and making a bunch of loud noise in the marina. Um, so we stopped last night and then today I got a little bit further and I got this top cut out and screwed down and we had this piece got this cut out last night. I got it bolted onto some hinges so that works really nice now. And pretty much just got more of what we had ready put together today. Back at it again. So I've got Steven's help and screwed these in place to put these shelves up. And then we've just got some cedar boards that are just going to rest on here to create a lovely shelf inside the bathroom. Something like that. That's it. Whee! <laughs> We're being visited by the turtle. <gasps> I need a... Let me get the this guy. Oh, oh, can you hand that up to me? No, you can't. Oh, that's okay. Thanks. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh,
Oh, had been painted like that. Ha, you're in the video now. That's a cool shot. Do something funny for the camera. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know how to say that. I just said that terribly. You can get rid of all of what I just said. <laughs>